Okay, let's uh, look, uh, have a closer look, look at the PID control. Uh, you remember that the control action in the most uh, general case is proportional to the error, proportional to the integral of the error, and proportional to the derivative of the error. So, <clears throat> this is the general uh, idea of the PID control, where the control is generated ba based on the actual error, the trend, which is the derivative of the error, and the past values of the error, which is the integral. So, <clears throat> we can see here that there are three terms, and each one of them is ready with one of these activities. So, let's consider the proposal. Uh, is the proportional to the error a control action? Yes, it's the first term. So, is uh, proportional to the derivative of the output? Well, in fact, the third term is the derivative of the error, but if the input, the reference, is constant, the derivative of the error is the derivative, is proportional to the derivative of the output. So, a, a control action is proportional to the derivative of the output. Is proportional to the accumulative error? Yes, accumulative is uh, another way to say the integral, is the past values of the error. So, uh, the, quest, the proposal 4 is also uh, true. The uh, one which is not correct is the third one, because uh, <coughs> the control action is not proportional to the integral of the reference. If the reference is constant, this integral will be growing uh, continuously, and the control action will grow uh, continuously. So, this is not uh, correct. It is proportional to the integral of the error, but not to the integral of the reference. Thank you.